Hello everyone, welcome to the D-Hard House. My name is Alicia and this is my YouTube channel about all the crafty things, hobbies, and adventures that I partake in. So welcome. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. I'm so excited to bring you this episode for, for a few reasons. Number one, I can um, speak again almost 100% normally post uh, oral surgery having my wisdom teeth removed. So exciting. I'm not in pain and uncomfortable and I can smile and form words, which is great. Another reason I'm excited about today's episode is I'm going to announce a new uh, knitting pattern release. I'm also going to share uh, what I'm working on and uh, an adventure that we went on this weekend. So uh, I am, I live in Washington State in the Pacific Northwest of the United States and there are lots of things to do here um, that are outdoorsy. So lots of camping, hiking, um, there are water sports and water activities to partake in and just so, so many opportunities to enjoy the great outdoors. So uh, now that the weather is, um, you know, the, the days are getting warmer, longer, um, things are opening up, campgrounds are opening, um, more hiking trails are opening now that the, you know, the snow is melting and things. Uh, so as we get out and enjoy the great outdoors, you will see more and more of that here on the channel. So... Um, I should say at the beginning of the episode <laughs> where you can find me other places on the internet other than right here on YouTube. Um, so, uh, as a knitter, you can follow me on Ravelry or become friends with me on Ravelry. I am Liddy Knits too. You can also follow me on Instagram. My account is Read Knit Run. Uh, you can also follow the podcast and myself as a designer, as a knitwear designer on Instagram at Dhart House. And all of that information is typed down below in the description box for your convenience. Uh, I am not wearing any knitwear today because it's 75 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Um, it's warm. It's really warm. We went on a uh, almost three mile walk slash hike this morning and whew, out in the sun without a breeze. It's it, it just feels really warm and I, I didn't think that I would ever say I thought 70 degrees felt like 90 degrees. But for some reason today it just felt hotter than it really was. Uh, so I was going to record outside uh, and show you that I did mow the lawn. <laughs> we even bought a new um, weed whacker uh, because our the old one um, was a hand-me-down for my parents. Uh, operated off a of battery. Unfortunately, that battery is losing its ability to hold a charge. Um, and so we just went out and bought a new weed whacker. We bought one that actually plugs in. So instead of having to worry about charging a battery, which we seem to be pretty bad at, <laughs> um, our mower is electric and we plug it in. And so now the weed whacker is also. And we do have a long enough cord that we can reach all parts of the yard. So it just kind of made sense. Um, we're not usually running both machines at the same time anyway. So it all works out. Uh, but yeah, the, the yard has been mowed. I commented last time that the grass was really tall and getting out of control. So we, uh, we tamed it. It looks nice. But uh, it's too hot. I don't know if you can hear Marjorie panting, but um, the poor thing is just trying to find a cool place to hang out in the house, aren't you? Would you like to say hello to your viewers? I think she would. Look at our messy craft room and our snacks. Hello, Marjorie. Marjorie. Marjorie is our black Labrador. She's four years old. She will turn five this May. Um, and uh, yeah, she's growing up to be a nice, uh, well-behaved, well-trained lady. 
which I'll talk about later with one of our adventures. Um, I think she probably wants to leave this room, so I'm going to open the door for her and see if she leaves. Okay, she did leave. <laughs> She's probably going to go drink some nice cold water. Okay, so yeah, I'm not wearing any knitwear because it's very warm. Um, we have a week of sunshine and yesterday, I think, I forget which city it was in the area. I live in the Seattle region uh, and one of the, the cities broke a record yesterday of high temperatures. So yeah, it's warm. <sighs> Uh, so, uh, pattern release, I posted right before sitting down to record <laughs> the Recreation Socks pattern. So, um, I mentioned last time that this pattern has been in the works for quite a while, partially because um, things happened with the pandemic and having to switch to working from home and so like a lot of this just went on the back burner so I'm pulling stuff off of the back burner and it's it's nice it feels really good to do that so uh, these are the recreation socks uh, it has uh, cabling down the front of the sock we have ribbing as well also on the back of the leg uh, because I really like ribbing running all the way down the leg of the sock. It's something my husband commented on when I asked him for, you know, which are your favorite socks and why? And ribbing is a feature that he said was great because then the socks tend to stay up on his leg rather than falling down. Um, and socks falling down are not his favorite. I think most people uh, would agree with that. <laughs> um, yeah, so this sock pattern just went up. So what I do is put um, patterns on sale for the first two weeks of release. So today through May 1st, uh, the pattern is 20% off. Uh, no discount code needed. It'll just automatically get apply, applied at checkout. And the pattern is available on Ravelry. Ravelry.com. Uh, D Hard House Designs. Um, yeah, so the pattern is $2. Two US dollars. And then 20% off makes it $1.60. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go pattern is up so more socks speaking of which um i am running monthly cows this year uh knit alongs so we have a group on ravelry the d hard house podcast group and uh every month uh i'm doing giveaways so all you have to do to enter is knit one of my patterns post a finished object in the thread for the month in which you finished it so if you cast on a pair of socks it doesn't matter when you cast them on, uh, but if you finish them in the month of April, you can post them in the April thread. Uh, each uh, pattern of mine you knit and you finish, um, you post a photo, post an entry in the forum, and uh, each entry counts towards the giveaway. So if you knit, um, for example, two pairs of recreation socks. You could enter both of them in, have two entries in the giveaway. Um, I do also have free patterns, so you do not have to pay to play. You can knit one of my free patterns. Um, yeah, free socks. I've got headband. Um, I think Christmas stockings. Um, what else is free on there? Mitt are my mittens free? Maybe? Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't have to be socks, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I have shawl patterns. Uh, I'm going to get some baby blanket patterns posted. Yeah, cool. So those are up. Those are finished. Yay! Uh, and then I cast on a new design, and I showed you guys um, the beginning 
of the pattern. So I did finish one sock. So this is a new sock design that I'm working on. And this progress keeper here is marking where I was last week on last week's episode. Um, yeah, so I finished the first sock. So I wanted something that was um, two colors, using two colors of yarn, uh, but I didn't want it to be um, intricate stranded knitting. So we're doing stripes. And there's a little bit of color play here in the ribbing, which is fun. Uh, yep, heel flap and gusset, because I'm really loving that right now. So the two yarns I'm using here are uh, the main color, the tan or khaki kind of color here is uh, from Yarnbox and the colorway is Winterland Eggnog. And the contrast uh, here, the green, is uh, Premier Yarns Serenity Sock in their uh, woodsy green colorway. Um, just some leftovers I had laying around. So I finished the first sock and now I have the second sock. <gasps> there goes the yarn ball. Um, so here's the second sock. Yeah, I'm excited. It looks nice. Mm. Yeah. So that's... <laughs> That's my phone jingling. <laughs> that's, um, that's all I've been working on this week. I need to um, find time to record the, um, the baby blanket edge. I mentioned last week I want to record a video of picking up stitches along the edge and I just haven't found time to sit down and record that. Um, we uh, school started last week. Well, really it started halfway a week before and, uh, but I didn't have my first class meeting till Monday. So, uh, it's been a, a busy week with the first week of, of getting back to class with spring quarter and, um, you know, just answering emails, making sure everyone knows what to do for the first few days. Um, it's always a, a busy time. So, uh, there just wasn't really a good time to sit down with um, 30 minutes of no interruption <laughs> to record a video uh, doing that. So anyway, yeah, so I've just been working on these socks and I really have no idea what to name this pattern <laughs> at this point. I have no idea. So yeah, if you guys have ideas of what to name this pattern, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, I just, I don't know, I'm brain farting. I don't really, I, I do know that I need to wash and block this sock because um, the eggnog yarn, I don't know if you can see, it looks really bumpy up here. Um, I had started using this in another project and then the color just didn't seem appropriate. Um, so I ripped it out. So it's kind of bumpy because it had already been knit and then I ripped it out and re-knit it into here. But a wash and a block will fix that. So you can see it looks much more smooth down here. Yeah. Into ways. Um, yeah, so that's all I've been knitting on. I really want to finish, I want to finish that baby blanket. Um, which means I need to record a video of picking up stitches along the edge and then I can just knit the garter stitch on that last edge and it will be finished and then I can wash it and block it and write up the pattern. So we're almost there and that's next on my to-do list. I also have um, a color work sweater that I had cast on and I was working on last year um, pre-pandemic and I would like to get that out of storage and I would like to um, start working on that again on the color work sweater. And by storage, I mean it's sitting on the table over there in a bag. I just need to get it out, get the pattern out, 
see where I left off and start knitting again. Um, I would like to do that. Yeah. So we, um, that's it for the knitting content. I want to share with you an adventure we went on exploring Washington State. So we uh, took advantage of the gorgeous sunny weather and we went to the beach. So we went out to, um, out toward, I should say, uh, Ocean Shores in Washington. And I'll put a uh, map on the screen here to show you where that is. So um, Ocean Shores is the city, but uh, near the city is a state park. So we went to Ocean City State Park. So we got to check off another state park off the list. So uh, it does have a campground. Uh, when we drove through yesterday, uh, it has four loops of camping. Two of them are open right now. The other two are closed. Um, I don't know if they plan to open the closed loops. Like, are they still phasing in getting ready for summer? Or is the plan that, um, you know, because of COVID, maybe they can only be at 50% capacity? I'm not sure. Uh, but currently, Two loops are open. There were people there camping in RVs as well as tents. Um, and yeah, it was nice. So we drove around, looking around. Um, they do have um, restrooms and showers, um, which is really nice, nice when you're being close to the beach. I don't know about you, but after a day of covering myself in sunscreen, what I want to do at the end of the day is take a shower. <laughs> so. Um, they do have showers there. Um, yeah, and so we uh, drove out and parked near the day use area and then walked out to the beach and uh, we let Marjorie off leash and did a bunch of training and walking and wading in the, in the water, which was cold, felt really good. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, so we spent a bunch of time there and then we drove up the road to visit um, more places where you can get on the beach. So by the way, this is a beach where um, there are access points where you can drive on the beach. Now there are certain parts of the beach where there were signs up saying between April 15 and October 15, um, those are the regions where you can't be driving your vehicle. Right, so you can walk out there, but you can't drive out there. Um, but there are plenty of places, I mean, there's still lots of room, even with all that blocked off. Um, so you can access the beach from, from Ocean City. You can just, just drive right out on the beach from over the other cities nearby. There was Pacific Beach, um, Mo Clips. We didn't make it to Tahola which is at the end of the road on the north side, um, because you have to drive through the Quinault Indian Reservation to get there. Um, but I think because of the pandemic, um, the reservation isn't wanting visitors. Um, just residents can come in, which I get, it makes sense. So we couldn't pass through on our way to Tahola. Oh well. Hopefully later <laughs> when um, all this settles down. So, um, but yeah, it's you dry, it's a sandy beach. You just drive out there. It was it was a gorgeous day. Lots of people flying kites. Um, lots of people with their dogs. Uh, there were even uh, places where you could uh, ride a horse. That I think they. The signs were advertising horse rentals, so right, you paid uh, to ride a horse for a certain amount of time, and um, that was neat to see. Unfortunately, I am highly, highly allergic allergic to horses, so that is something that I just can't ever do is ride a horse. Uh, but it's fun to watch other people do it. Um, 
yeah, so I'm going to put in um, video and pictures here of our time on the beach and exploring. Uh, I will say too that there was another state park up the road, uh, Pacific Beach State Park, um, that also has camping. Uh, but it wasn't as appealing to us because it was right by the beach and there weren't many um, trees for shade. Just all um, pretty wide open. And we camp in a uh, tent. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just, we prefer to uh, pitch our tent where it's going to get some shade and it was just completely wide open. So I'm just thinking about, you know, 80 degree heat of the summer, and I, I think that would be really rough on us. So um, so there was another state park we stopped into that also has camping. Um, it's just, for our situation and the way we like to camp, it just didn't seem appealing to us. But um, parking your RV there, it looked really easy, like not having to worry about, um, running into tree branches um big rvs would fit for sure <laughs> so if you come out here on a road trip in your big rv you might consider pacific beach state park uh, but yeah let me share the video um that i took of us running along the beach and marjorie just having an awesome time um she really enjoyed being off leash and running in the water and chasing the seagulls and it was just an all out great day.
<laughs> Thank you for joining me this week. I'm sorry I didn't have a lot of knitting content to share with you, but <laughs> oh well, that's what happens. Um, yeah, so don't forget to participate in the Dee Hard House uh, monthly knit along. So if you knit uh, one of my patterns and you finish it this month, uh, post a photo over in the Ravelry thread in the Dee Hard House podcast group. Um, there will be a giveaway of a Dee Hard House creations bag and a Dee Hard House designs pattern. Um, for one one random winner chosen from the thread and um, whips count this could be a cast on from a long time ago uh, it doesn't matter when you started it it just matters uh, when you finish it so yeah um, don't forget to participate in that if you can and I will see you next time hopefully next week so until then uh, stay safe, be well, and enjoy your crafts and hobbies, uh, whatever they may be. Bye.